Yeah, I wanted to talk today about playing guitar over 50. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I know a lot of people who are uh, picking up the guitar for the first time over 40 or 50, or even 50. I know even a few people who are learning guitar for the first time over 60. Uh, yeah, it's entirely possible. Uh, the guitar is a wonderful instrument. It's very accessible. All it is is six strings, right? Six steel strings or nylon strings. Uh, over a box that resonates sound, yeah? Uh, it carries sound so you can hear it, and it's just, in my opinion, it's just, it just has the greatest sound of all, right? I just love the acoustic guitar. Uh, electric guitar, too, of course, but the acoustic was one that captured me from a, a really young age. Uh, the first time I heard an acoustic guitar, of course, was in school when we had a, a little duet come to school and sing some songs, you know? Uh, then I heard uh, my neighbor, my next door neighbor, actually across the street from us, uh, would play guitar on his front porch. Now I was about eight or nine years old, uh, and uh, he would just play acoustic guitar on the front porch, singing all kinds of songs, Neil Young, Stephen Stills, uh, The Beatles, uh, and uh, what else, everything basically. Uh, and so I really would listen to that and I went over many, many times to listen to him play and, and learn from him, actually. So that was kind of my first uh, introduction to acoustic guitar. Now, one thing about playing guitar over 50, I noticed some people, uh, they kind of don't have a good seating style when they're playing guitar. Uh, some people tend to, to not understand that it's best for the left hand, especially when you're fretting the guitar, to kind of come up underneath it, yeah, uh, and come down uh, from overhead when you're playing chords, right? Uh, I noticed uh, one friend of mine uh, kind of played guitar in, in a slouching position uh, and try, is trying now too to, to kind of make chords uh, while slouching, you know, sitting on the sofa. Um, you know, watching TV and stuff, and it's just you, you just can't get that clear sound if you're if you're, you're going to be slouching and, and you know not uh, playing guitar in, in a good position. Yeah, um, I taught him, or t I wanted to, to teach him to kind of uh, get the guitar up on a, on your knee or on a pillow, right, uh, where the neck is a little bit elevated, right. It's a little bit elevated, so you're able to come up from underneath, right, and from over, overhead a bit, right? So you can hit all the strings openly so they all ring out. Now this is very important, right? Uh, because you won't be able to get a clear, clear sound, right? I, if, I, if I'm like this, a lot of the strings are, are going to be muffled, right? And you can hear it already. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes you want to muffle strings, but basically, when you're playing uh, folk guitar or acoustic folk acoustic guitar, um, you don't want that to happen. So this is a good habit to get into. Uh, coming up from underneath, uh, kind of coming overhead, uh, elevating the neck a little bit by placing the guitar up uh, on your knee, cross legs, or on a pillow. Uh, where you can have a good guitar playing position. Yeah. Okay. See? Very nice thing. I can hear every note in every chord. So that's it for today. Thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this video. If you like it, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again next time. All right. Thank you.